Um, I'm Daniel. I'm working for Comedia on the engineering tools team. And um, today I'm going to talk about uh, configuration as code and how you can use the job DSL plugin to put your Jenkins configuration into code. Um, I'm currently the maintainer of the Jenkins plug uh, of the job DSL plugin. Um, yeah, so the current situation, um, when we started with Jenkins, um, we had a single compile job, maybe unit test job, but today we have a complex continuous delivery pipelines, as you saw today. Um, we're working with many teams. Each team works on feature branches. They want their own continuous integration pipelines. So um, we have quite a lot of jobs and a complex setup today with our Jenkins. So um, how do we get to the setup? Um, well, often we're cloning uh, the jobs, then we're starting to edit the jobs. We're entering um, scripts in small HTML text areas. We have to click through all the settings on several screens. Um, often settings are hidden behind the advanced button, so we have to click through them. And we have to do a lot of clicking and yeah, the workflow in the UI can be slow when you want to create a complete new pipeline. So what do we really want to do? We have these fancy text editors today, which syntax highlighting and code completion, and um, we also want to use them to configure our Jenkins. And um, also we want to put our configuration into a, a source code management so we can see who did changes, what did he change, and when uh, the developer left a useful message, we can also see why he made the change. So in the end, we want to work with our favorite tool set and not with HTML text areas. So how can we get there? There are several plugins that help with aspects of that. Uh, definitely missing is the new workflow plugin on that list. Um, but today I'm talking about the job DSL plugin. So what does that plugin do? It defines a new language to express Jenkins configurations. Um, you see a definition of a job. So the um, language starts with a job element, with the outer element, and um, the job has to have a name. That's the only uh, mandatory element there. And then you start to define uh, the job details as you would do in the UI. So you define a, a source code management source. Here it's a GitHub a repo. And um, then you define some triggers that kick off new builds. And in this case, we are running a Gradle project. And we want to do a Gradle build step. And afterwards, we um, archive a file. So as you can see, this is um, very concise representation of the job. It fits on one screen, fits even on the slide, and you don't have to click through with the UI and to scroll down several pages until you get the configuration right. So how does the um, job DSL plugin work? Well, of course, first you have to install it from the uh, update center. Then you have to create one job, the seed job. We call it the seed job because it spawns all other jobs. Uh, that's the only job you should create manually. Um, for that job, um, you enter a source code management um, where your um, job configuration lives. Um, then you add a build step. The plugin provides a process job DSL. A build step with, uh, then will uh, execute the job script. Um, you see uh, how the configuration looks like. Um, you can either, the first option, um, enter a job DSL script directly. That's more or less for testing. Um, but we really want to use the files from source code management. So uh, you enter the names of your job files. And then you run a job, the run the job, the C job, and it generates all other jobs. So as you can see, there are several, um, in the example, there were several uh, elements for Gradle and GitHub. And uh, I would say we cover the essential plugins. So we have good coverage of the most important plugins. Um, 
we are doing currently a release every about six weeks, and uh, with every release we add new support DSL elements for new plugins. So, but with 900 plus plugins, the chances are good that your plugins are not supported by the DSL. So, uh, what can you do? Well, of course, you could ex extend the DSL. Let's assume um, you want to um, set the global passwords checkbox, and there's no predefined DSL element for that. For that. Um, all you have to do then is to, um, well, first you have to know that internally Jenkins stores the job as XML, and you can get to that XML by just appending slash config.xml to a URL of the, of the job. So when you're at the slash job slash, slash test page to, um, to display your test job, you just append slash config.xml and see the XML structure of the job config, and then you have to find the element that matches uh, to your config checkbox. In this case, it's uh, the entrance check passwords wrapper element below the build wrappers element. And um, with that knowledge, you can translate that into the DSL. That's something which we call the configure block, um, which uh, can manu manipulate the underlying XML directly. So in this case, it more, more or less translates very nicely. You have a project element, and then you use a slash operator to um, navigate to the build wrappers element. And with a left shift operator, you append a new node, in this case, the engine inject password wrapper. And then you set, set the uh, inject global passwords options option to true. So um, then you can run that job, and it sets uh, the checkbox. So. Furthermore, the DSL is a Groovy DSL, so the scripts are um, Groovy code. And you can do everything you can do in Groovy, so you can use loops and branches, and you can even use the Groovy grab annotation to grab uh, dependencies. In this case, I'm, I'm grabbing a GitHub RP library, and um, I'm iterating over my GitHub account, and for each repo and each branch, I create a new job, which is named after the repo dash branch name. And um, yeah, so I can automatically create new jobs by just pushing new branches or uh, creating new projects on GitHub. And when you uh, set the C job to run like every 15 minutes, it checks every 15 minutes with GitHub and creates new jobs on the fly. So. That's it. If you're interested in the job DSL plugin, you can find a lot of documentation on the um, wiki in GitHub in the, of the uh, project on GitHub. Um, there's an example project which can use to fork and get started. It provides um, already example DSL scripts which you can then use in your C job. Um, the examples are already a little bit more complex, it shows how to use libraries and stuff. Um, there's a playground which you can use as a web app where you can enter a DSL script and then you see on the, on the, you enter DSL script on one side and on the other side you see the XML which gets generated. So you can um, try your DSL script without running, uh, running them in Jenkins. And if you have any questions, we have a mailing list and yeah, that's it. Thanks for our sponsors for having me here. And um, thank you for listening. If you want to contact me, 